looking good, man. He looks like he uh, got himself into some really nice shape here for this uh, summertime as he sits down with us here on the uh, Sixers Summer Shore Tour. Stop number two, Jaleel Okafor is with us. And uh, you were at the one a couple of years ago when you were a rookie. Right. And now, look, it's expanded. I mean, yeah, you see uh, where this yeah. uh, franchise is going. Oh, that's exciting. It's very exciting. So uh, give us a little uh, insight on where Jaleel Okafor is. You know, you had the knee last year. You're kind of in and out. So uh, feeling uh, much better? I am. I am. I've had to make some drastic changes in order to feel the way I am now. Uh, but I've been dedicated to it, and I feel great. You look good. I mean, obviously, you cut some weight down, right? Right. World said he did the same thing. You and World uh, were on the Yeah, but they gave it all to me. Yeah. That's the problem, John. They gave it all to me. <laughs> uh, what's been the uh, thing you've been working on the most this offseason? What do you feel like you need to do to kind of be a bigger contributor and get yourself back into that rotation? Well, I think the main thing is with my health. Uh, that's the thing that stopped me the last two years of not being healthy. And uh, I think we're changing my diet. That's helped me tremendously. Uh, just taking care of my body and taking that seriously to, to a high level. So I've been doing that. And, uh, now, you know, everything on the court is going to take care of itself. Your transition from college player to pro player, your rookie year, offensively very successful. Last year, not quite as successful. What has been the biggest kind of challenge for you from the college game and then the success you had as a rookie and to now? What, what do you what, what do you see has been kind of the transition that you you know need to change a little bit? Uh, I think the only thing that happened last year was just a lot of uh, – different things going on uh, off the court, on the floor, uh, not playing, not traveling with the team at one point. It was just a lot of drama. I wasn't able to focus on basketball with all the trade rumors and, you know, not playing a couple games because I might be trading and stuff like yeah. that. It was just a lot. And my rookie year, I didn't have to focus on that. It was just me going out playing. So uh, hopefully that's all behind us and I can look forward to being on the court. Yeah, because it, it seems like, you know, um, you're almost like a forgotten guy sometimes around here. All these guys, uh, Joel, you know, had such a big year. If ben a 6'11 guy <laughs> could be an invisible guy. Exactly. Uh, that's probably somewhat a good thing. No, you got to be under the radar. Yeah, it's different for me. It's different for me. Uh, you know, I've been under the radar. I've been on social media that much. I've been working to get healthy, uh, being the best rappers I can because I want to make a huge impact with this. Um, obviously, defense is something that gets brought up a lot when people talk about uh, Jaleel local for is there stuff that you can do that you think hey this is something I need to focus on and work on to get better at that skill set oh uh, yeah I think it's seriously uh, I think I have gotten better and opportunity to get better uh, something that coaches and I talk about a lot and uh, you know hopefully I can make a lot of strides this year on the defensive end of the floor from where you were when the team drafted you the organization to where it is now just going around town the talent here how far has this organization come in just your two years now into your third. I think far, very far, especially with the talent that we have on the floor. But as far as going around the city, feeling the excitement, uh, I felt that when I was drafted. And the fans have always been great uh, with me and all of my teammates through everything we've been through. I'll tell you, when you were a rookie, that first year, you know, it's it's, a little, it's crazy how fast things move. I mean, right. that that year, things were obviously so tough for you guys. Right. But, I mean, you had a... You were the main attraction. Every single night it was, how do we stop Okafor for other yeah. teams in this league? It's, it, that's got to be a lot to, to kind of have on your back as, as a young kid who's always had success and have to go through a season like that. But, you know, obviously two years later now, it seems that this team has jumped tremendously right. in terms of its maturity with the talent and, and their mindset of you guys, you guys want to be a playoff team now. Well, I think you Something that was not no. in the lexicon two years ago. For sure. Yeah, I think you hit it on the head. It was definitely tough. You know, we went 10 and 72, and like you said, I was coming straight from college, and we didn't have any real vets on the team. So even this last year alone, having Gerald Henderson and Jared Bayless and having a few guys who've been in the NBA for several years, that helped me. It's something I wish that I had my rookie year, but I didn't. But uh, this year we have, we have we had a J.J. Redick and a few other pieces, so I'm really excited. Did you envision a guy like Redick signing here two years Wanting ago? Wanting to come in. No, no, honestly, I couldn't. I couldn't. There was a lot of talk like, hey, no one's going, no one would go there. So, and then here we are. You got guys wanting to come play here. Crazy, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, like you said, you always hear nobody wants to come here. Then eventually, uh, you start believing it. Uh, but uh, I think he realizes what we have in store, uh, the potential that we have. So I'm happy he's a part of it. Jaleel Okafor with us. Jaleel, because of your height, because of your size, because you're visible in the community, people sometimes just they try to make you older than you are. You're 21 years old, if right. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm 21, right? I mean, correct. In, in some books, you're still a kid. Wow. In, the, in right. the rest of the world, well, right. he's a man. He should be making all this. Right. You're learning your way as you go along. I want to ask you a little more about that transition, though, from coming from a program like Duke 
where there's so much success, they're in the spotlight all the time, to, to a 10-win team, I mean, there, there's no playbook on how to deal with that. Right. And you talked about the veteran leadership a little bit. How do you, what do you think you've learned in the couple of years here through the ups, the downs, right. like that makes you, that gives you that core strength, like to be like, I can handle right. anything now. Uh, I think just being a professional. Uh, like you said, I was coming straight from college, 19 year old, jumped right into the NBA, and I think everything that I've been through, uh, from winning 10 games my first season to my second season, just not playing and being out of the lineup, was it was a drastic change for me. But uh, I think I can, I think I can say that I handle all that the right way, and I think I'm better for it. You brought up the trade rumors, all that stuff. Nobody likes to talk about that stuff. Nobody likes to be the subject of stuff like that. And yet, at the same time, there also had to be a part of you that was like. But wait, I see what's happening here. I don't want to go anywhere. Yeah. Like, it, it, does that just excite you? The fact that, uh, you know, the J.J. Reddicks of the world coming in, the Martin, we get Markel Fultz, and, and this team is building towards something, and you're like, I'm holding on with two hands. I want to be I want to be my part in it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I was here when we were, we were 10 and 72, and now I can see uh, the other side, and hopefully we can come to fruition what we all dreamed of, and uh, I think we will. I think we will. I know everybody's dedicated. Everybody's ready to work hard. What are fans, Philly fans? They're not New York, right? They're not New York. They're not Boston. But Philly fans, they'll talk to you. They're going to come up and talk to you, whether it's right. the Wawa or the Dunkin' Donuts yeah, or yeah, yeah, wherever sure. they are. What, what, are they, what do they say to you when they realize, like, oh, that's your little... And, and, and what, what are the things they say? Do you get the support, or do you get the haters, or do you no, get a little I've never, I, I've never encountered any haters on the street. Uh, you know, social media and stuff like that, but when I'm on the street, going to stores, going to restaurants, it's always love. Uh, nothing but support. Uh, so the, the Philly fans have been nothing but generous to me and my family. So, uh, so we'll go for us with us. We'll let you out uh, and, and finish up. I saw Anderson had his toes in the sand. You're not going that route? Oh, yeah. I, I didn't really care. I, I thought about it. I thought about it. Was, uh, anybody surfing today? Are going to get you in the water? <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing the water today. All right. Uh, hey, uh, or parasailing. Don't be healthy, that. right? That's the biggest thing. I mean, that's been... Be bugaboo for you for the most part is, is staying healthy and on the court. We wish right. you luck, man. Thank you. We hope to Appreciate see you. That. Uh, really have Thank a great so season here in Philadelphia. Absolutely. Appreciate that. Jaleel Okafor, everybody. Guys.